Okay, Mike Masato, CEO of Staff Driven Dental and the Dental Road Warrior, returning for episode 52 in the series. All right, so I previewed it last episode, uh, so I got to do it this episode. Uh, this is the excuses episode. So uh, this might be hard or difficult for some of you guys to hear uh, because I have a zero tolerance attitude when it comes to excuses. So do my coaches. So um, why? Right? Excuses are deadly. They're deadly in terms of killing your success and your uh, efforts uh, to achieve new heights in life and in practice. And it's it just incredible to me every day in my work and in my coaches' work that we have clients that will spend tens of thousands of dollars and reserve dozens and dozens of hours in their schedule and then procrastinate or justify or give rationale why they can't or won't or, uh, or didn't and make excuses for not implementing or following through on a damn thing. Why? I don't get it. I mean, if you're a doctor listening to this, all right, or maybe you're an RDA or um, a hygienist, I, I, did, did you get where you are with your degrees and your licenses by making excuses? I mean, there was some work involved there. There was some commitment and dedication uh, that you needed to, to apply yourself to get where you are. And it, you didn't get there making excuses. Right? You didn't go like, um, maybe I'll get to it tomorrow. I, I, you know, I love tomorrow. Tomorrow's a great one. There's only, there's only one time uh, to start being successful and achieve your goals in life, and it's today. It's now. It's not tomorrow. You know why? Tomorrow is very strange. I, I just read this definition uh, re uh, recently of tomorrow. Tomorrow is a myst mystical land right, where 99% of all human productivity, motivation, and achievement is stored. You know, it's a great quote. Because just think about that for a second. It's all in tomorrow. Not today, though. Right? Because tomorrow has a way of never coming. Life has a way of getting in the way all the time. Right? So I want to make this, I want to talk about it. And what inspired this episode today really just couldn't be a better situation where I have a client and he, uh, he may watch this, but that's great because I told him the same thing. Uh, and uh, you know, recently who's basically been having a hard time with different aspects of his practice. And I really got in there giving some additional coaching say, look, they need your commitment. You got to be here, you know, full days, four days a week, like you're committed, show your team demonstrate because uh, basically leadership is about taking responsibility not making excuses but I told him all right so you got to stop making excuses for everything go in here generate you will hit goals be a leader be here you will make your numbers your team's looking for that all right Mike I'm on board I'm, we'll do it I had a great first day next day rolls around I get a call from the office he's in there for half the day leaves early with hygiene on the schedule for the afternoon and uh, gone for the day. So all those opportunities in terms of approaching those hygiene patients potentially for work or generating work, and they had possible work. They had unscheduled treatment plans that could have been discussed that weren't that afternoon because he went home. Why? So I asked him. I get. I reach out to him. I find out from the staff. He, just, he went home uh, in the afternoon because he had no patients, just hygiene. Uh, was in for the day. No, you know, well, no exams were needed was the, was the excuse uh, that day. And also, uh, I had a sore throat and a little bit of a fever, so I went home. You know what I said? The great ones play hurt. All right? Lou Gehrig. I'll use an example. For those of you that are not sports fans out there, Lou Gehrig, one, the Iron Man, the Iron Horse of baseball. Uh, his record was surpassed by uh, Cal Ripken Jr., by the way, for you that are baseball uh, buffs out there, and consecutive games played. But Lou Gehrig, you know, went to, work, went to work every day in one of the most difficult sports to exceed, exceed in, and he played no matter what. And he played with broken bones. He played with several broken bones throughout that streak, which took, I don't know how many years of consecutive games. Over 2,000-something consecutive games, I think it was. He played with broken Imagine a broken bone in your hand. Try swinging a bat with a broken bone in your hand. Right? How, many of you, how many of you are dentists out there would go to work today and not miss a day of work with a broken bone in your hand? Right? Or, or, or who knows what? Right? Like I've, I've had dentists, literally, because I had to hit goal on the last day of practice in the, on the month, the last day of the month, that had a, and it wheeled out on a stretcher at the end of the day because he was keeping like a, kid, a kidney infection or kidney stones to himself. Kidney stones it was to himself because he knew he, he had to get in there and he couldn't cancel the day or they wouldn't hit goal for the month and uh, they wouldn't have hit the numbers that they needed so the staff could get bonus. 
All right? There's an example of what I'm talking about. So if that guy can stay there and work, if you have a slight sore throat or fever, you're not. I'm not buying this excuse. I'm sorry. You know, there are only two options. Make progress or make excuses. There's another quote for you. Difficulty is the excuse history never accepts. All right? There's difficult days. Stop making excuses for them. We always have it. We always can make an excuse for anything. If it's important enough, you will find a way. If not, you'll find an excuse. It's starting to resonate now. You're getting the theme of this episode here. So let me read you, read you a few more quotes on, excuse, on excuses. This is one of my favorite ones that I had jotted down for today. I get dead. Don't worry about me driving. Got it. Got it covered. I got the car on autopilot. No, it doesn't exist. But it, it'll be a good thing for me. But anyway, uh, a life that is defended by excuses has become comfortable in defeat. It has settled for mediocrity and is destined for failure. I mean, think about that. And yet we use these things all the time. You know, why would you invest all this time and money, you know, in coaching and guidance and make excuses for being anything less than best possible? I'm not looking for perfection every day. I know things come up in life. I know things happen. But stop making excuses for everything. Because what happens is, you know, there's another great quote, John Wooden. You know, look some of these quotes up, by the way. I didn't give you, I didn't give attribution to all of them. John Wooden, great coach, you know, he said, never make excuses. Your friends don't need them and your foes won't believe them. Right? A lot of wisdom in that. Right? No one wants to hear them. Everybody's sick and tired of hearing your excuses and justifications for everything. Right? And then we start blaming people for everything. Look, the truth of the matter is, the successful people, right, 99% of failure come from people who have made a habit of making excuses. All right? Successful people don't make excuses. Do things go wrong? Do things not go the way they're supposed to go? Yeah, it happens. But the, the ones that are, are, the, are the truly at the, you know, at the top of their game, professional people out there playing the game of business in, in, or in the dental field for that matter, right? Don't make excuses. The origin of every excuse is the fair to do something. Do something. It's always better than doing nothing. I think I've said this before. And a man can fail many times. A person can fail many times. But he isn't a failure until he begins to blame somebody else. Right? It's a responsibility thing. And when you start making excuses, you know, you're not taking responsibility for what's going on with yourself. You know, take care of yourself. I always talk about my clients. You know, you're the doctor. You're the leader. People are looking at you to lead the way, to be inspiring. You know, practice a policy of extreme self-care with yourself. It's one of the things I always do. I never make excuses for not working out, not eating right, not taking care of my health. You know, I, I always practice a policy of extreme self-care with myself. Because if I'm not in the game, my clients can't win. I can't help my other, my people in my life win. I tell this to my coaches as well too, you gotta take care of yourself. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, all this plays a role. You need to be at the top of your game. I can't afford to have an off day or mail it in or have a down day because I got a job to do. Well, guess what? The same thing for you guys, docs. You know what? What Most of us, you guys have a, a, life, a great life working four days a week, maybe. Maybe. Just be on your game four days a week and take three days. Most of America would kill to work four days a week. Just go in there and generate and stop making excuses. Always reasons why we can make excuses. Trust me. All right? He that is good for making excuses is seldom good for anything else. Benjamin Franklin, right? He's, you know, these are these men are great men and women that have these quotes. Go look some of these up. Use this as an inspiration to watch one of these or read one of these every single day, right? It's better to offer no excuse than a bad one. George Washington, right? This goes back. This is not a new theme in history. This has been going on for a long time, right? Founding fathers didn't have excuses. Well, we have, we have a country to uh, get a constitution and put together here. Yeah, let's let's take, let's make some excuses why we can't do it. Plenty of reasons why that couldn't happen back in the day. And you tell me you can't be successful with your practice or implementing training, you know, and taking our guidance. I mean, think about this for a minute. All right, it's right there in front of you. All right, but the excuses you sabotage your your power by making excuses and minimizing yourself. Never minimize yourself as cause, your ability to cause things. It's your greatest ability. And when you make excuses, you are minimizing that ability to cause things to go right and make things happen. Stop blaming others, stop making excuses, stop putting things off to tomorrow, 
get motivated, get in action, get motivated, get guidance, get someone in your life, a good coach, who's going to not take any of your excuses. Because quite frankly, I won't. I don't want to hear it. Right? I got a job to do. And that job is making people be more successful. Win the game of life, win the game of business. Right? That's the that's only mode, only thing I care about. And do obstacles come up? Yes, they do. Life happens. Things happen in life. But you know what? You, you persevere. You get through it. That's what you do. All right? You make progress that way. So, again, I hope this episode was a little inspiring. Hey, look, pretty much the best excuse, the last one I'll leave you with, the only good excuse is one is that what uh, that you have none. Got that? I botched that. The only good excuse is that you have none. Start having no excuses tomorrow when you go into practice. Start having no excuses to get on a path to being better, to improve, to get to the next level in your life and your practice. You know, life, things just start falling in place that way, all right, when you start doing that. All right, so hope you enjoyed this episode. Share it. Share it with someone who's making excuses right now in their life, if, <laughs> even if it's just that. All right, and uh, keep watching, and uh, I appreciate you watching, and I'll be back soon.